Welcome to the celebrated nightly news of Calaveras County. My name's John. And I'm Kim. And we thank you for stopping by tonight on a Wednesday hump day. Wednesday hump day. And also, this is... And just so you know, this has been a pretty light news week because everybody's yes. leading up to uh, yes. everybody's leading up to the holidays. There's not not, um, not a whole lot of stuff going on. <laughs> the last board of supervisors meeting till after the first of the year, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So now it's just parties and parties and dinners, and gifts, and that's about that's about it. <laughs> pretty much, huh? yeah. yeah. So we are going to do our weekend update yeah, edition. Yeah, we're going to do our tonight. weekend update edition in addition to our little bit of hard mm-hmm. news up front. Well, hard and soft yes, news exactly. up front. Exactly. Um, so I guess, so what should we lead with? Should we lead with, I guess we can announce this. We were given the okay by one of the chamber board member board directors that they've... Um, Diane Gray, the former Chamber of Commerce Executive Director, is coming back. Yes, she is. After, so, after about a year. She left about a year ago. After about a year ago, and she um, left to go into this wine and spirits business, doing sales mm-hmm. for that. And I think she she misses, she misses the chamber. Yeah, I think she does. Now, now, did she move out of the area when she, no. when she took that no. position? No, she's been, she's, she's been, she's been still here. Too. Yeah, and I think... Um, so she will be moving back into her old position, mm-hmm. and I think the uh, the board is uh, almost giddy it's to have her back. Excited to have her back. They were saying that they don't have to train anybody yeah. because she she trained them. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so congratulations, yeah, Diane, congratulations. and well, welcome to back. Have you back. Right. Welcome glad back. And back. she's done. Uh, she did a great job before, and I'm sure she'll do a wonderful job again this time. So. Yes. We we understand that she held out for like triple of her former previous salary, so, 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 the, so the perks were a little better. This yeah, year. so now that so way to go, way to go <laughs> negotiate that compensation package, yes, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and we went to something fun it tonight. Was fun what tonight. did we do? We were invited to the is it Don Boos annual cookie embellishment party tonight, where you go to the Murphy's Native Sons Hall building from five o'clock to ten o'clock this evening. And you get to decorate cookies for the, I guess, a little, a little less fortunate. Um, what they do is they have kids, they have kids um, cookie decorating contests and adults decorating cookies, and then they serve us dinner. It was, it was absolutely it was wonderful. It was very cool. It was such a neat community thing. We, we've never been. This is our first year of going, and the kids just had such There's a wonderful just some time. Great cookies there too. Some great. Look cookies. at all these cookies. And our son was so bummed we had to leave to come back to the office to do the news because he thought for sure. He had a chance of winning. And these are some of the cookies. See behind us? Whoops, there we go. See all the different cookies? It's really neat. They have everybody just kind of in in assembly line just decorating cookies. Look at that. And there's how many cookies? Well, over 1,500 cookies. That is cool. Very cool. And Don Boo's been doing this for um, about 16 years. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of one of those invitation only kind of pre Christmas kind of. Society events. So we are, we are very special. So uh, we just kind of snuck in the side door. You know? It was one of those things like, oh, you're here again? Well, if you take pictures, we'll let you stay. Um, but <laughs> And what they do with these cookies is they actually serve some of them at the Murphy's, the annual Murphy's Christmas Center that's held on Christmas Day. Yep. They serve them there, and they also bring them to, to, to the foot retirement home, communities. To the retirement communities, um, maybe the food banks and things like that. So it's and, all they, they, they all go out to the needy, basically. And they will be bagging these tomorrow mm-hmm. morning, so yes. they're all ready to go. Yeah, it was very nice. Um, the kids all got to got 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 to get involved. The adults, and there was lots of yummy food to eat for us: ham and turkey, and mm-hmm. all kinds of good stuff. So it was really, really a nice evening. Desserts. So we're shifts. well fed. Yes, so we are. Kind of drowsy, and we nod <laughs> off. We've been we were well fed, and plenty of <laughs> cookies and sweets. And, and he and, mentioned this was his seventh month. Today is he's been married seven months. Correct? Yes, so with his bride. So congratulations his bride, yes. on a seven yeah, month seven month anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> and they they still seemed happy after they seven did, months. They did, yeah. It's pretty cool. See and you see you would never know. We would what, seven months? Was it? <laughs> For us? <laughs> was it like thirteen years. Thirteen years, yes. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. So it's been uh, so, so that, was a quite so a bit. That was fun and thank you for having us. That was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, a couple hundred people. Went through there probably at least that. Yeah. From oh, these turned out a bit dark. Now Claire did some great. This this young lady did some great cookies. What's her last name? I forgot her last Claire name. did some wonderful a cookies. Little, a little eight year old from Michelson. Yeah. 
she is going to be an artist, this little girl, I tell you. These cookies were amazing. I said, these are, these, oh, yeah. these, these are way too pretty to eat. <laughs> yeah, she did a great job. Let me go see if we can enhance her picture a little bit and get a better shot of Claire up there. Let's yeah, she see. She told me her last name and I can't remember. There we go. All right. Come on, Claire. Oh, that's a little better. All a right. dark, but yeah. <laughs> so cute. Artists in the coming. And I she tell was you. very excited about mm -hmm. those cookies. This whole yes. play, she did a great job on those. Penguin and fish, and she just had everything there. Now, this is the official apron. It says, excuse me, I'm focused on frostings. My energy's artistic. A, cap a captive at Dawn's annual cookie embellishment party. Murphy's, California. Very nice. Thanks, Don, for doing yes, it. Thank and you. thank you everybody nice. for allowing us to attend. And mm -hmm. it was a, it was a great event. Mm -hmm. it and was. it was, and like we were, we did a little interview with Don, which we'll have up on the site tomorrow. Um, but I want to say this is one of those things that make communities unique. Mm -hmm. You know, it's events like this that are the the annual rituals mm -hmm. that make a community what what it is. Exactly. You know, it's, um, and uh, thanks for doing it. You know, I was, it's a lot of work. It's, I was talking to a lady who has been staying here from she she's originally from San Diego. Yeah. She's been staying in Murphy's and she said it's so different to see the kids of all different age levels actually getting along. I mean you have you have little kids from little kids up to teenagers mm -hmm. and they were they were actually getting along, you know. So she said that's what that's it what's must so not nice have been about our house, exactly. Right? Was, that's <laughs> what's so nice about a small community is you is you have things like this where the kids are just having a good time and doing something for the community and they're proud of what they're doing and our kids were so proud that our, our five-year-old made, I think he said nine cookies. He probably ate like four or five of them yeah. during, during decorating. But, Mommy, I, I made nine cookies to give out to people. So they were just, just the kids were just really proud of what, of what they were able to do tonight. So thank you again. Yeah. Now, one of the things is we should probably touch a tad on it. Before the Board of Supervisors meetings, we announced that they were on the closed session they were probably going to be selecting a CAO. And we didn't mean to lead the people on the fact that mm -hmm. we would have it announced the, the that, day. that day. No, what it is is they had a closed session to where they've narrowed the candidate to one and uh, and we've talked to a couple of supervisors and they seem fairly But they but they happy but they have appointed choice. somebody but they haven't maybe they not, haven't officially announced well, it. Well, yeah, they yet. haven't officially right. announced it and we, we understanding from talking to we asked uh, Marita Calloway this and we also talked to supervisor Tryon this mm -hmm. evening. Yeah, it looks like the man that uh, they've appointed. I think we gleaned that much. Oh, um, it's a man. Maybe, you did find maybe. That out. I think okay. we, you know. Right. But anyway, so that <laughs> narrows out half the population, yes. right? So anyway, um, probably announcement probably next week. We know that on these closed sessions, if there is not a, um, and we checked in with the clerk's office, if there isn't a board meeting the next week. They have to, I believe, announce the results of closed sessions within a week. Right? Within a week or so. So I believe it. You so, know, yeah, but that, that makes it Christmas Day. So it'll, next week, sometime next week you'll sometime probably we'll know. Out. Probably and know. And as soon as we find out, we will let you know. We will. As a matter of fact. Count on yeah, us. There we go. As soon as we know, you'll know. <laughs> yes, um, we try anyway. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that I think is on the CAO. You should know next week, probably mm -hmm. sometime. Just guessing, not not completely firm. But it sounds like they have it um, uh -huh. fairly narrowed down. Yes. And we have, we have another story to talk about. Uh, Bethany actually went out today to the Calaveras County San Jose Express. And she visited there today as they were getting re Let me see. About 150 Calaveras Santa's Express volunteers work, work from morning to afternoon today, helping families in need shop for toys, clothes, and stocking stuffers at the San Andreas Town Hall. So they were able to go out there and do their Christmas shopping, get some good bargains, things like that. Um, which is that's I think that's so nice that we have that available yeah. to to our for our community. So you don't have to go to the mall and spend a fortune. You can go there and get things that you can actually afford. Maybe yeah. Right? <laughs> and one of the things we'll have up tomorrow, we just uh, we got a file. Uh, Bethany just finished up um, one here to where. We're going to have video of the Hazel Fisher teachers singing to the new principal. Oh, they have a new principal. That's yeah. right. They have a new principal that is going to be starting to next principal. year. In fact, right? you know what? You keep working on your story. Okay. And I'll see if I can download well, it. Well, they have that. They can... have that today. And also, they have appointed a new principal um, at Hazel Fisher Elementary. I believe he's going to start next year, the next school year. And his name is Brett Loring, I believe. Um, let me see. 
Vallecito Union School District announces new Hazel Fishel Elementary School principal, Brett Loring, a Tuolumne native. Now that name sounds very familiar. Did he come from like Black Oak or something? That name just sounds really familiar to hmm. me. I wonder if you came from like over the Twain Well, I bet she'll tell us or something. I bet she will. I yeah, bet she will. I bet she'll tell us. So that, that was announced at today's um, Vallecito Union School District Board of Trustees meeting that they had appointed him and welcomed him to the community. Um, so congratulations, Brett, on your new position with um, Hazel Fisher, and I'm sure you will love it up here, as does everybody else. We have, we have pictures of him on the site also. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Columbia. Lori, who grew up just around the corner from Calaveras County in Columbia, he came from Loomis Union School District in Loomis, California, where he worked as a principal for a K through 8th grade school. Okay. But they have, I guess it says, he is no stranger to the area. He and his family have been visiting this side of the foothills since about 1976. His parents and other family members live in the foothills. His sister, Lisa Reynolds. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's is, we yeah. knew the name. I knew we knew it's that Lisa name. Lisa Reynolds' center. brother. Is, um, and she is she is a director of the Calaveras Visitors Bureau in Angels Camp. So that's, that's, I knew I knew that name. There is somewhere. that family resemblance. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, Brett, and welcome. His first day on the job will be January 14th, 2008. Great. Which is in a few weeks. Can you believe that? I know. 2008's <laughs> almost here. Huh? <laughs> Come on, we're, we're working on the there video were a of them of, uh, uh, singing. I'll keep, I'll keep yakking over here. A couple of minor injury, minor injury collisions today, no major injuries. Um, nothing, nothing serious, thank goodness for that. Um, big Trees Market, it's a new, new ad There's came the out this week. There's the big ad, here so we do, go, it's our grocery your holiday ad. Grocery shopping. Here, let's Make see. Make sure you shop local and go to Big Trees Market. They have well, lots of good stuff on sale. We may have the singing to Brett. I may not know if I can get that loaded, but we'll see here. Anyway. All right, we better do our big. We better do. Let's look over our big trees. Yes, at. they have uh, beef rib roast, spiral sliced hams. See here we Nabisco go. Nabisco snack crackers, Swiss cheese. So if you're watching this in the Bay Area, you don't need to go buy Safeway or anything before Just you head up to your home. Wait until you get up here. Just shop at Big Trees. Bring those dollars with you and yep. spend them here. So standing rib roast, navel oranges. A uh, coupon for Martinelli Sparkling Cider. So there's just all kinds all of, stuff of stuff on sale. And every Wednesday, you'll see the latest grocery ad up for on the site. For Big Trees on our, on our website every on Wednesday. Site. Yes. Campbell's Soup. Mm -hmm. For that uh, green bean casserole. Yeah. Mushroom, cream and mushroom soup, which is your favorite, right? One of your I favorites. Do. Isn't it? You tell me it is. Why I, mean, I know. It. See? <laughs> I mean, it's not. <laughs> See, I was joking. The carpetarian that you I are. I felt like we were slipping into that ep that Saturday Night Live episode. <laughs> you know, it's... Now, have you ever seen this? They do this one where they do a parody of NPR, you know, a couple NPR um, on-air personalities where they're like, good things. Good things, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they have Campbell's soup for your chickens for your yeah. string bean casserole for the holidays. You know, good, good things. No? Okay, they have lots of good stuff on sale, so you have to make sure you can do your holiday shopping at Big Trees Market here in Arnold. And also, we got a, a, a story today from Norman Milsner, who was one of our freak, very, very few, yes. frequent viewers. Yes, thank you, Norman, for yes. stopping by the site. Thank you for the contribution. He sent us some pictures and a little article on the Arnold Sons in Retirement holiday party. And boy, do they know how to party. They he, do. On December 12th, the, the Arnold Sons in Retirement 152 organization held their annual Christmas dinner and dance at the Snowflake Lodge. And we have some pictures and of their fun fun evening on the site if you'd like to go ahead and check those out. Thank, and thanks so much for sending those to us. Well, what do those pictures it. look like? Let's see. Well, there's some people doing it. Let's look, see. It looks like the Macarena or the, the, the train or something. I don't know. They're having a good time. Look at that. <laughs> see? There they go. They're boogieing on the dance floor. Yep, there they are. Yep. Yeah. The sons in retirement, they're doing the... What, what is, is that the Macarena? Yes, what is that? Well, it's kind of like the Macarena, maybe. Some people trying to do the Macarena. It's still shot of yeah. the Macarena. You, nev you never know. You know, we'll have to, we'll have to ask. <laughs> and we also have up the Eddie's Photo Slideshow. Dean <laughs> yeah. and Arlene Eddie, we, that we mentioned last night on the news, are they send us funny emails with pictures every day, at least once or twice a day. And we have the full slideshow up on our site. You can go ahead and take a look and see. You have to show that one oh, of the three might, of us. We might as well have a look at it. Here we go. Oh, gosh, this is so funny. All right. And we have a poor little guy that's a little cold. Yeah. Look at that. He's, you know, he looks pretty happy, though. 
I, th- I think that was one of the first mornings we had frost. That was last week, I believe. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's Mr. Eddie. Eddie out there, <laughs> Murphy's uh, digging. Murphy's digging, <laughs> keeping charge, uh, <laughs> making sure uh, the diggings are well protected. <laughs> Grandma's here. <laughs> And we have... Uh, <laughs> His license plate says, I'm sexy. Uh, you can't see that. And so. the cop was kind of... I think Mr. Eddie is a retired police officer. He must I, be. I get the yeah, feeling. Yeah, there's so. enough uh, squaw's name. Let's see here. <laughs> he needs says, mag, mag, mag. Stuff. Did you see yeah, that? Here's the here's one here's we had before where <laughs> I was generously replaced by Mr. Eddie. Cause Who I'm, sh- I'm sure would love would be... Would be now, here they are, the one we Sarah. showed you. Here is the... The, the new schmuck reporters, yes, there they are, all they're dressed for attire, out ready to in any inclement weather, right? They're offering to be our, our Murphy schmucks. Yes, Oops. there's Gra- uh, Gra- Grandpa lost his teeth. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> now, where's the one of you and Sarah and I in our little snow snow suits? Did you I don't see know. that I one? I didn't see that one up. It doesn't look like oh, it's in the album. It? Oh, here it is. I have it on mine, but okay, that's weird. Where is it? I don't know. It's on the front page of the site. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah. I don't know why they named they named that funny name. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there, this one just cracks me up. Like, now this one <laughs> is your Pine Tree News Team. Yes, yes, there we go. Special friends he put yes. when he sent it to us. Uh, <laughs> it brings new meaning to Schmuck. No, <laughs> yeah. just kidding. Um, you look especially handsome in your little little snowman, <laughs> little snowman outfit over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, and here we have. Retired California donut eater, Antioch, California. So, also the Calaveras High School bell was recovered. I didn't even realize it was missing. Did you? I think it was a surprise to lots of people. <laughs> okay. but anyway, it oh, is back. It is back. I guess a, a former student recovered on, the bell. We better go to it here. Oh, we better go sorry. to the bell. Go ahead. I was jumping ahead of you. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up. She's so quick. It's hard to. It's hard to keep up. There's the bell. A large ceremonial bell belonging to Calaveras High School was rec- recovered by sheriff's deputies Friday from a Christmas tree farm in Glencoe following a tip from a, follow- a former Calaveras. Calaveras. My gosh, I think I had too much wine tonight yeah, for dinner. Yeah, so something. From a so. former Calavor- Cal- Calaveras High student. The former student was looking for a Christmas tree at a farm located on Ridge Road in Glencoe. He told the deputies that while she was looking for a tree, she saw the original bell used by Calaveras High is. when she intended the school in the 1980s. I didn't even realize it was missing. Did they? Did they realize it was missing? Where did they, where, now, now, it where, says now, where it's not this, clear. Where is this normally kept, I'm wondering? Well, and how, shall and we how, read And on? how did they get it there? They just, we'll they just pulled it on. in their wagon to the Christmas tree lot or what? How did they get it? Don't know. <laughs> Calaveras County Sheriff's Department. why did they want it? <laughs> school Resource Deputy Rick DiBasilio followed up on tip and recovered a 300-pound bell from the uh, former student. Deputy DeBasilio says it's not clear at this time when the bell went missing, <laughs> as it had been in storage for some time. The sheriff's department has never received a theft complaint regarding the bell. <clears throat> According to Calaveras High officials, the bell was retired in 1986 due to its size. Oh, my goodness. So there was too much girth on the bell? Okay, I guess I, think I so. want to know how they got it. A 300, how they carried a 300-pound bell out of there in the They were place. unaware the bell was missing, and it was added, not given away, or did anyone have permission to remove the bell from the school property? See, this is kind of like the, you remember the, the new Scout uh, Memorial, Veterans mm-hmm. Memorial mm-hmm. built over there? One of those cannons that was on that memorial went missing as well. One of the cannons on that memorial was oh, recovered from a pond on private property. Oh, so that. there's... Uh, and I think we have our video clip of the Hazel Fisher Elementary School staff welcoming the new principal, Brett Loring. You can also watch us on our site if you'd like. Please welcome you to Hazel Fisher. Please welcome you to Hazel Fisher. Happy New Year. Please welcome you to Hazel Fisher. Happy New Year. We wish you happy birthday. We wish you happy birthday. We wish you happy birthday. Happy Mustang.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
I'm sorry. Thursday eight, night. Eight chance tomorrow and twenty percent tomorrow night. Sorry. Yes. So All now right. there, it's definitely going to snow here in Arnold tomorrow, correct? Yes. It looks like. All right. And for Bear Valley, so we'll just run down the temps going into the weekend. So Arnold, we have 37, 32, 37, 23 with snow, 42 and clear on Friday, 27 uh, and clear on Friday night. Saturday, 42 and partly sunny is the high. Saturday night and partly, so it looks like the weekend will clear up and be very mm -hmm. nice. Very nice. For Bear Valley, would you like me to do Bear Valley? Oh, why not? Okay. For tonight, 100% chance of snow, low of 22 degrees. For Thursday, 100% chance of snow, high of 30 degrees. Thursday night, 30% chance of no snow, low of 10 degrees. 10. Friday, mostly sunny, so it's going to be beautiful. You know it's Friday, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous up there the day after snow. Yeah. Friday night, partly cloudy, low of 16. Saturday, partly sunny, so it's not going to be snowing this weekend, it doesn't look like. So when our kids are up there, looks like it's not going to be it says a slight chance of snow on Sunday night. So, Most Angels the Camp. Tomorrow, well, like. Murphy's. We'll run through Murphy's and Angels Camp real quick. Um, tonight we'll do rain likely, 60% chance, 54, 37, 47, 27, 50, 30, 51, 36, and 56. We'll, on temps, we'll take you through the weekend. Looks like chances of rain t um, tonight and tomorrow, and then clearing. Mm -hmm. Angels Camp is similar, only a couple degrees warmer, two to three degrees warmer. Um, and also, chain Chains. controls right now, there Air is... Required. Four and a half miles east of Arnold. Yep. Is that current? We were just outside. It wasn't, it wasn't even raining outside, was it? But upstairs, okay. up there, they may be chain controls still above Arnold. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I bet by morning we're going to have... Who knows, maybe we'll have snow on the ground by morning, you think? We might. For our friends in, man, we're running out of time. Hurry up. For our friends in Bangor, Maine, <laughs> here we go. All right, and 27, 11, 26, and 2 degrees. <laughs> that means 2 <laughs> degrees <laughs> for the uh, low on Friday night. 34, 24, 37, 29. And we thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.